Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another Daily Market Report brought to you by Mike Bjork. Today is Monday, August 31st. Hope you guys had a wonderful weekend. Uh, this week, uh, today we happen to have no items on the economic re report. However, this week we do got the jobs reports coming out for the month of August as we'll go into September starting tomorrow. With that, we'll have the ADP coming out on Wednesday uh, with the private payrolls. And then uh, Thursday, of course, we get every week the initial jobless claims. And then Friday will be the BL BLS report, Bureau of Labor Statistics report for the month of August. So we'll see uh, what the jobs numbers will look like in regards to uh, new jobs created, unemployment rate, and such. So those will be the kind of the big day, big items for this week. However, today happens to be kind of light in terms of economic reports. So let's jump over to the headline news, see what's really affecting the, uh, the markets. So here you can see uh, stocks are, mar are, are mixed today. Uh, the Dow is down a little over 200 points so far this morning. S&P is down. However, Nasdaq is the only one in positive territory. The FDA came out with some uh, reports, uh, well, announcements that they, uh, as we're getting kind of closer to some vaccines for the COVID-19, uh, they did uh, kind of make, create some more optimism where they stated that they could ex they have ways of expediting the uh, process of the vaccines into the markets and still make it safe for everybody to go through. So uh, the, we're, as we're get, approaching these final stages, there's ways for them to go at least bring it out to markets and get those out to the people in a safe manner. So this is kind of help creating some optimism in the markets. Uh, as you recall, the Fed uh, now made a huge policy change last week in terms of uh, their inflation, inflation policy, where before they always had a target rate of 2%. Uh, now they're going to use an average of 2% going forward. Uh, they also kind of made comments, or there's a few members out speaking today. Uh, Clarita kind of defended the position of that and basically said uh, one of the things that they really looked at was the jobs, unemployment rate tied to inflation, where at one point the economy has evolved so much that it's not as much of a factor. Uh, this is what they call the Phillips curve. So it was a relation between the unemployment rate and that of inflation at when the unemployment rate was low uh, we would see higher inflation and sometimes that's how they work he had stated that uh, about a decade ago it's been, it's been starting to lose its power uh, in terms of this their effect on there and when we had a really good jobs report it wasn't creating a inflationary impact on us so this is this is one reason why they're feeling a little bit more comfortable getting away from that yield that type of curve and uh, looking more in terms of uh, uh, average of inflation over the long term. So China uh, came out with some more restrictions in terms of uh, that could complicate the sale of TikTok. Uh, it has to do with the AI technology and in, in selling outwards our output of that technology, which could complicate matters uh, as they're trying to meet at that 45-day deadline. I'm not sure how many days it is currently now, but in terms of uh, trying to sell, there's people like Oracle, Microsoft, and even uh, Walmart is interested in this, uh, trying to acquire uh, TikTok in the U.S. markets here. So let's uh, see how this is uh, playing out in the mortgage uh, industry, see how interest rates are doing. Right now, we're at three up three basis points, so we're still st seeing right above the uh, 25, or I'm sorry, the 50-day moving average, uh, so we're still seeing above that. So where price is basically where we were at Friday, so there's really no change in pricing. Uh, there ha weren't really any f huge fluctuations, so it's pretty moderate today. Uh, so far, what we've seen, we didn't really have a whole lot of uh, earth moving um, earth moving uh, news that came out today. So rates are kind of will remain unchanged from what we saw at the close of Friday. Yields have come down a little bit. It's kind of testing its uh, floor of support right now. As you saw, it was way up here. Now it's down here. We're now sitting just under uh, 0.71 right now, which is good for us because that adds less pressure on mortgage-backed securities. And if we can get this down further, then it could uh, help uh, drive mortgage-backed securities even higher, which, of course, you know, lower rate interest rates or mortgage rates here. All right, so that's pretty much the wrap for the day. Uh, one announcement I want to mention to you guys is uh, last week the FHFA had announced that they are postponing that half percent tax. I forgot to mention that last week. My apologies. Uh, but they had mentioned that they were going to uh, postpone that tax until December. Uh, this, until December. So what that means is that loans that get 
uh, get funded to October 31st, uh, we'll be done with that. So you kind of want, if you're in a refinance, you probably want to get that done sooner because if you start in November, there's a good chance you're probably going to see that tax on the a half a point tax on the refinance for conventional loans. Again, this is only for conventional Fannie and Freddie Mac loans that are going through refinance. Does not affect purchases, does not affect government loans like FHA, VA, USDA, or jumbo loans or any other type of mortgage programs. Just those two uh, services or uh, GSC is, is what we call them. So, uh, so if you're looking to refinance into a conventional loan, make sure you get it done sooner and have it make sure you want to get it funded before October 31st. Once we get into November, those loans get uh, sent over to uh, by December because it takes time. It's, it's sent over to uh, Fannie and Freddie Mac and therefore we'll have to face the tax. So the lenders will be passing that tax on to the consumers. So just make sure you get those uh, taken care of if you're in that market right now. But to reiterate today's uh, uh, video, again, mortgage rates remain unchanged. Uh, we got jobs to data coming in later this week. And uh, stay tuned if you guys want are looking to get any mortgage information. So if you're looking out what kind of programs are available, what's, uh, if you got any questions about the process or anything else like that, I'm going to leave a link to my website you can go to, which is at the end of this video. Also, I'll put a link into the description. If it goes too fast, you can go ahead and use that link uh, to go into the video. If you would like to reach me, you can reach me through that uh, that website and uh, go ahead and we can talk a little bit about your scenario. I, as you may have guessed, I am a loan officer and the company I work with is a national lender so we can help people in different states. Uh, we I help a lot of people with the refinances as well as purchases. So we get people pre-qualified so they can buy and then find, finance those properties. So I look forward to seeing you guys on tomorrow's video. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.